Hey people, how's it going? It's Intanger here. I'm on ARC today, and uh, I'm going to just be talking about my thoughts on ARC Ascended. And uh, also, I got this cool build I built on this uh, this private server. Look at it. It's another one of my flying builds over over top of the mountain I, I like to live on on Gen 2. I'm way up here, so it's got a hell of a view. Uh, but anyway, I played ARC Ascended for a good 50, 60 hours now, and... Uh, well, I'd already played it that much like a week or two ago, <laughs> and uh, I, I got fed up with it. I, I kept going back and forth on whether it was good or not. I, I gave it a fair chance, and I, I got initially I was really annoyed at all the things that they took out, and then I gave it a chance because they added a lot of new features that were actually pretty cool, and uh, then I got annoyed because the graphics were so unstable and I had to dumb them down so much. Uh, but then I changed my mind because I managed to find some settings that were close enough, and if I reloaded every 30 minutes, I could keep the frame rates up. And uh, then, I, then I played it for a good long while, giving it a fair chance, and eventually there was just so many frustrating issues with it that I just said, why am I even playing this? I'm not having any fun. It's, it's frustrating as hell. It's buggy as hell. It's unstable as hell. The AI... Uh, like, the AI pathfinding was one of the most irritating things about it. My, my animals kept running off cliffs and falling off of things and wandering off in the wrong direction and getting stuck. And Also, I kept getting off my mount, and I would be stuck where I couldn't change my camera view. And sometimes that would happen even if I wasn't on a mount. And you just have to re-log. And if you're playing online, then you can't get back on. So, uh, because the servers are full. Uh, so th that's the other thing. If you're playing on the officials, the servers are constantly full. They're constantly rolling back. you got to do everything three times, and you can't get on. So with all of the issues that it's that it's got, I got fed up, and I finally just said, okay, I'm, I'm not going to play it for now. I'm going to wait and see if they just keep doing some updates, and they keep improving it, and they eventually add some of the features that I love back in, like cryopods. <coughs> like, I really don't want to play the game without cryopods anymore. <coughs> I played it back in the day without cryopods, and I did all the hardcore stuff that everybody's acting like they're all big and tough for doing now. Like, oh, you, I hand feed gigas and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I did all that too. Yeah, I, I did it back in the day when it was acceptable to, to have to do that because games didn't have a better solution. But games do have a better solution now. <laughs> We've been playing with it for years. It's called cryopods. And now that we've seen better and know that better can be a thing, then why the hell would I accept going backwards, you know? I don't want to. And that goes for many other features like nets and, <clears throat> you know, the incubators and uh, the maywings and all that sort of stuff. I, I like all those features, all those conveniences. I know it made it easier and it's supposed to be a survival game, but you have to earn those conveniences, too. You get them in the game through earning them, so it's part of the progression. And that's how survival games work. You progress, you gain access to new abilities and new methods and new items and new tames and stuff. And all these things help you do things better. So you're not just still barely surviving. You get to a point where you thrive. That's the whole fun of survival games is, is how the, the progression makes you feel more powerful. Uh, so taking away six years of improvements from the game uh, and just not giving them to us, you can't earn them until they decide to you know, bless us with them again is stupid. I don't like it. And I don't I don't want to play I don't want to play that game. I played it, you know, six years ago. It was harsh, it was brutal, it took way too much time and I and I was you know, I enjoyed it at the time, but I, I you know, I'm sick of it now. I've I've played better. Ark Survival Evolved is better. It was a, a, an objectively better game. It had more maps, it was less buggy, it had more great features, it has more tames, it has more everything except for a couple of features like Arc Ascended has that cool new map feature that is great I love the new map uh, it's got some cool new building features which are good but I mean they're really good but they, they took out a lot of really cool building features that were also really good so that was that wasn't even an, a, a, a you know a, a pure improvement it was like a swap and I, and I really like some of the building features on this game because it lets me do funny stuff like flying buildings and build on well, I mean, I, you can still build on very uneven terrain. Um, but I, I also just like that you could do all sorts of weird build offsetting where you would shift things ways that they weren't they weren't in necessarily intended to be shifted. Um, you just have more custom customization options. 
Yeah, this is my this is my little uh, survival. <laughs> this is my my uh, little refuge here on the on a private cluster. I managed to uh, get on one of the clusters that had backed up one of the one of the official maps. So this is actually my official character carried over onto the onto this new cluster. So it survived, and um, it was naked and dead though because they deleted my base because I didn't join right away. So I had to uh, start all over, but I did have my character at least. So that, that's what I'm doing over here. I moved over to Gen 2. It was an island map that they had backed up, but I moved over here to Gen 2 instead. And I've been, you know, just tinkering around over here now and then. Um, because, yeah, I, I, I'm just not going to get into ASA. And if you're having fun with it, you know, power to you. I mean, a lot of my friends are having supposedly fun with it. I, I use fun in air quotes because... They don't actually sound like they're having that much fun. They seem to be arguing a lot. They seem to be bickering. They seem to be complaining constantly about stuff that I totally agree with, which is why I'm not playing it. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to put myself through the torture. Uh, it's, just not, it's just not fun anymore. And so I've just been kind of tinkering around on um, Ark Survival Evolved and also on this other game, Vintage Story. I've been playing that. <coughs> Neither of them have everything I want in a survival game anymore. Ark Survival Evolved doesn't have the, the players anymore. I mean, there's just a tiny number of people still on this cluster. And uh, they're nice and they're friendly, but, I mean, it's just not... It's not anything like playing on a cluster with, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. And all the trade and all the new advancements and mutation lines and all that stuff that come with it. I mean, that, that makes you feel p part of a living game. And Ark Survival Evolved doesn't have it anymore, so it's yeah, it's dead. It's basically dead. It's still you can still glimpse the glory that it used to hold, but it's a it's a remnant. Um, and the same with Vintage Story. It's just it was never a very popular game. It's it's kind of like a Minecrafty type game, but it's got a, a better designed progression in my opinion. And it's pretty great, but there's almost no players on it. Like, if you check the entire server list, there's probably less than 100 players on it at any given time, which is pretty low for a, a whole game. I mean, individual Minecraft servers have more players than that. Um, which is a shame, because it's a great game. And, you know, it honestly deserves more people, but uh, it's, it's, not, it's probably not going to get them. Anytime soon, anyway. But um, it does have some great features, but it's also still in development, and uh, it doesn't have uh, as much adventure content as Ark Survival Evolve has. So uh, it's just not cutting it for me um, either. So basically, I don't have a great survival game to play right now that I've found. I tried Conan uh, Exiles on my computer here. I'm on Linux, and I could not get it to work. So I scrapped it. And I tried just screwing around in some other old games like Red Dead Online, even though it's not a survival game. It's still, it's still fun. But um, even that I can't get to work anymore. I don't know what's going on. I can't get any of my games to work. It's really frustrating. I can't find a good game that has all the features I really like to play. Um, it's, prob it's likely that Ark Ascended is th the next one that's going to have those things when they, when they slowly fix and slow release all the same content we already had. But I don't know how long that's going to take, and I don't want to suffer through waiting. So I'm just going to just gonna play other games in the meantime. Maybe some more factory games, or probably more vintage story. But, um, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I went back and forth on it. I actually put together a couple other videos talking about it, but I changed my mind, so I never released them. But uh, I, I've pretty much finally landed on this position here of waiting and seeing. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't love it. You know, I don't love the decision, but I don't, I don't love the situation. I, I think it's the best choice given the situation. Uh, cause it's, the game sucks. Well, it doesn't totally suck, but it's, it's too shitty to play right now. It's, it's practically unplayable. If you've got standards that are established by games like Ark Survival Evolved, which was a great game, then I don't know how you can put up with it. Like, I think everybody's just trying to you know, not be the first guy to give up, but, uh, you know, my, my, uh, actual enjoyment in the game means more to me than my reputation among my peers, and they don't really seem to be, 
bothered by me quitting anyway. <laughs> I mean, they don't seem to be like disrespecting my choice. You know what I mean? They they seem to understand it, but they seem to be still having their. F I guess they're having fun with it. I don't know. Maybe they didn't play the original arc, and uh, it's it's fresh to have to struggle this hard and put up with this many bugs. But I've done that before already. I don't want to do it again. So, I'm not gonna. Uh, but I'll wait and see. I'll try and keep an eye on it now and then. I'm assuming it'll probably be about a year before they've got it in a good enough state. That's about how long it took the last time. So, I'm gonna keep an eye on it from afar, and uh, when it looks like it's getting them back into good shape, good enough shape to play, I'll probably get into it and then try to catch up. It didn't take me any time at all to catch up when I, f when I got into Arc PC. It took me like, I don't know, a month to catch up and be... Uh, just as well or better off than the people had been playing the whole while. So I don't assume it, you know, I don't expect it'll take that long to get into ASE, ASA when I, when I do choose to get into it. Um, anyhow, that's it. Uh, in case anyone was wondering, hey, what's that Intanger guy up to? Is he still playing Ark? Well, apparently not really. I mean, I'm playing a barely a little bit of the old one, but the new one is just not cutting it, so. I'll see you when I see you, I guess. Um, Y'all have a good one out there in Internet land. Uh, have, see you next time.